Yo, what's going on, everybody? Man, it's your boy Modified Rob back with another banger. Here today, reacting to the real NBA 2K23 gameplay. You know, we've been seeing the news. People get the show gameplay today. Get more direct into it. We will break a lot of shit down, and I will be reacting and playing back. Also, don't think this about to be a little. Okay, I'm just gonna listen. Like, oh yeah, that's fire. Uh -huh. No, cause I'm a fan of the game too. I wanna, I'm gonna post more to content of 2K when 2K23 comes out. But when that, before that time comes, we're going to react to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I heard tomorrow they bring out the Builder. Builder, we definitely react to some videos on that and getting some ideas. Brainstorming. Yeah, man. Let's get into it, bro. Wow. Today we finally... Also, this is a video by Badge Plug as well. She y'all uh, go for... You know what I'm saying? Hit a Badge Plug too. Got NBA 2K... But hey, man. Let's get into it. Let's go. Wow. Today we finally got NBA 2K23 mm -hmm. gameplay yes, sir, from the creators. I watched a 24-minute video, 47 and 16. Now I'm going to take the most important parts and combine them into one video. Please note each creator's link will be in the description, and I do advise that you guys go watch those as well to get extra information. It's about to be crazy. Tomorrow we got the builder information coming out, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Watch a bunch of people's videos and then combine everything I think that's really important into one video. So, of course, you know, sadly, I was not invited to community day, but I'm still doing my best to give you all important information so look a lot of people were quick to just freak out about the stamina and the dribbling from joe's video joe's video is going to be in here some clips from that but i know a lot of people have already yeah. seen it so i'm going to like put that towards the end the first one i'm going to show is from yad man he had a very good video and he's also an extremely underrated creator so i'm going to clip that nigga I'm, I'm gonna show us from Yadman. He had a very good video and he's also an extremely underrated creator. So I'm gonna roll that. Let's get it. Real quick though, prize picks is hooking y'all. Link in the prize crazy with it. news for the people that love to do standstill dribbling, even some movement dribbling. Just let y'all know this isn't my quality because look, the quality is on damn 1080p quality and it's running smoothly. This is just him showing somebody's gameplay. When y'all see my videos tomorrow with some better sigs on, you will see what I'm talking about. A momentum. My standstill combos don't drain no stamina. You can't stand. You hold on. I'm talking about. Most of my standstill combos. You can't stand still with R2 and not lose adrenaline boost. Oh. So I could dribble standing still, not lose any fucking boost. Stand still dribbling is fucking mad. You know how people stand still fucking dribble and shit. Damn, all of a sudden get past you. That, that might be the new. Shit don't might be definitely no coming. You really only have to worry about the stamina if you're one of those that just spam size up dribbles, right? Spam mm -hmm. D rows left and right, right? Guess what? That is gone. That is patched. Like I said, people were freaking out about the dribble. shit's it gone and it's patched. Who okay. Went to left, right. If you see the clip, which we will show in this video from Joe's video, a lot of people were like, whoa. This is insane. You run out of stamina so fast. It's not going exactly. to be that bad. Of course, when we get those it's badges not that on bad. and Gatorade and Gym Rat. And hit 99 overall and that stamina goes up. Gym Rat, like he said, Gym Rat, everything like that. Stop panicking about stamina. Bro, you know NBA players are different ratings. Most of them aren't 99 with Gatorade boost. None of that. They do not come with no damn Gatorade boost when you play play now and stuff like that. Stop panicking. They said that about every year. Are Look, good. see how Caesar right here has fucking Gatorade shit? I'm but just saying. Of course, it's not going to be as overpowered Same. as last year. Like he said, if you want a left, right, that's gone, buddy. You only got three of those boosts. They might, you know, move it up to four or something like that. But it's pretty exactly. much gone. Like, that's just gonna be able to boosting your stamina. And that's beautiful. How you're just going to have to be really smart with it, which is how the game should be. So let's roll. The next clip. You're not about to just be speed boosting left and right anymore. That is gone. You do it a couple times and you're looking like flight reacts. All right. <laughs> you're looking like flight reacts. I feel that. Oh, yeah, because they got no stamina. I feel that. And that's good because I can, guess what? Me, I, I could clamp that shit. I never had a problem guarding that shit. But it's just like as soon as you run out of like you play defense, right? And y'all both lose stamina. That nigga does that last speed boost at the last few seconds of the damn shot clock greens that bitch. That's what pisses me off. And then Ty, I'm glad he took a lot of shit out because First of I, all, the most of them I plant that shit. That shit's not hard at all. Also see that the stand still dribbling isn't that big of a deal. You're able to sit there, you know, cross up and decide from those moves where damn. your opponent is gonna go to try and counteract that. You see what I'm saying? You're just not gonna be able to go boom to the left super fast, boom to the right super fast over and over and over, and then still be able to green a 15% contested shot. Hell yeah. You know, at the end of the shot clock. But all right, yeah. let's roll the next one. No, but on a real note, the adrenaline boost will not be activated 
when you do a momentum or standstill combos only when you boost out to run like a oh okay As you see, the speed boosting looks real clean you just got to be smarter with what you're going to exactly do on the play so look real exactly. quick man if this video gets ten thousand likes i'm gonna drop the most detailed all combined of every single person's video tomorrow on this page instantly like i'm talking about every single person best info all combined right oh, here yeah. i got you guys but anyway i shouldn't even have to say this anymore you okay. gotta be watching this entire video mike wang made a tweet about the adrenaline boost that is very important he said adrenaline boost notes you you know, she won't lose boost in the backcourt. Should help PGs beat the press. Won't lose boost in the backcourt. Should help PGs beat the press. When you run out of boost, if you pass and wait off ball for a few seconds, you'll, you'll get, get one, one boost, boost back. back. Regen timer only counts when your energy bar is 50% full or more. Oh. So in a competitive scene, it does sound like this year you're really going to have to take that two guard combo and mix it real good even on the threes court maybe the uh meta will be a two guard combo of course there's going to be many things you're going to be able to run a really good guard and a lock or a really good guard and an sbh i don't know it's going to be really nice to see let's get into the next one all right it's no more rim running just rim running you're going to need to get that three ball as well and let me tell y'all something right now if you shoot these whites on a, on a usual if y'all usually just shoot whites, your time has come, bro. All right, first of all, that clip yeah. was crazy, bro. There is three things to break down from that. The dribbling looks great. It looks very, very like 2K22. And he said that even though rim running seems very overpowered right now, as we all know from the news, you're not just going to be able to run in there. You know, you got to yeah, exactly. get a good angle. You got to get by your defender. So we'll see how that goes, of course. if you Thank have you, bro. Thank you, 2K. Because every time I guard somebody perfectly... Get some kind of animation that makes their way just to score. Because they got high ass layup, high dunk, and it's wild as fuck. And they got to, like, bro, You have, like, wild. low strength and you're a 5'11 guard, that is not going to be the same exact thing. But then he said, if you're out there shooting whites, you are 50. You're done for. You better be draining them shots this year. You better know right. your shot on 2K. You better be grinning. Me, I don't have a problem grinning. So I can't one. wait for it. Y'all wanted a realistic game. The great players are gonna be on top again. The people that took skill with cheese, not just cheese and cheese. That's it, right? I really like how he explains that because a lot of people seem to say that like people that are play shots take no skill. Like someone in the 2K league is not good. I mean, they're definitely going to beat park players like 99 times out of 100 or 100 times out of 100. Of course, people are tired though of seeing that left right meta, but now those players are gonna adapt you know what i'm saying they're going to adapt to what the meta is this year and you're going to see what that's going to be on the game and then Hell probably yeah. we're going to say that takes no skill as well but all i'm saying is man it's good to hear that skill is going to prevail in 23 thank and let's you get into the next one it's like swante said man a lot of y'all just don't want to see guards prosper in the game but i got bad news for you you still gonna have a hard time going against guards that know what they're doing trust me whether you like it a steph curry build should be dominating in 2k I mean, exactly Simple as that. That's, that's why I'm happy they're making that point. Like me, I know how to dribble, do all sorts of damn moves and everything. I'm not the person who was who can who who would be left right and shit like that spam left right. I was actually not how to fucking dribble. All of that shit. It's just like if you got niggas that know what they doing, like and myself, I'm not trying to hype myself up, but I know what the fuck I'm doing when I do guard. Get my ass the ball and ISO that shit or anything with screens. I'm that nigga. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I will adapt. I'm not like some of y'all people that can adapt to cheese and and like 22. Y'all got blessed with whites a lot. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Contested whites and all of that shit was stupid. Wait till 23 comes, my nigga. It's my year, nigga. It's me, nigga. What are you talking about? Let's dominates go. in real life but no five tens five foot nine is dominating in nba right now you know exactly so thank you he's probably going to not be seeing as much of that this year but once again everything should have its own balance like if you make a mm -hmm. build that can shoot very good and dribble very good that's what it should do you know what i'm saying exactly. but you shouldn't be able to get quick drops and everything else all that type of stuff you, know you should yeah, be missing out in other categories michael jordan is the greatest player of all time arguably you know right there with lebron and stuff but he's got like a 50 rebound on the game you know what i'm saying he doesn't he can't do everything so that means your build shouldn't do everything now i see why people want superstar builds in the game and honestly yesterday i was going a bit too far the reason why i'm happy is just because 22 was a bit too far it was like super superstar you know what i'm saying like there's a balance you shouldn't be way too role player and you shouldn't be too superstar i don't understand how a lot of people want a team basketball game especially like older people which is completely <laughs> fine to be old but then they want
want five LeBrons on the court, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be a little bit fair. You shouldn't have a LeBron on every position at the court. But let's roll the next one. I was not 50. I'm going to tell you that right now. I was shooting on Hall of Fame difficulty better than I was probably ever shooting before. But if you do not have a right jump shot on and you're 50, you're going to miss everything. Right there, it clarifies a lot up to me that shooting is going to be just fine as long as you're good at the game and know your jump shot. Exactly. If you don't, well, you're not going to be able to shoot blindfolded this year, little Timmy37, with your play shot with 37 Hall of Fame shooting badges. Like, you're going to have to know your jump shot. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to know real basketball, and that is what is going to succeed from what we see right now, of course. A lot of things can change, but let's get into the next one. Look, man, in this whole Jordan Challenge, all the whites I shot, I didn't hit only but one of them, right? That's it. Only one of them. If you are here shooting whites, you're done for it. All right, that was our Thank you. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. Yes. Oh, my God. Y'all don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Me, I green. I, uh, if I take 100 shots on the game... I will green 90 something percent of the midges. I don't fucking miss when I'm shooting. It's just, see, see, I, I don't know. It's just my luck with 2K. Me, I green every, I green a lot, most of my shots, all of them. But whenever I do white, I miss. I'm kind of used to that kind of treatment from 2K. I'm not going to lie to you. I might have hit some lucky wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. But most of the time, I would have to green. Because I'm not hitting that shit back to back. I'm telling you. I would, for me, when I play 2K, I have to green that bitch. No matter what jump shot, I don't know what it is with me. But I just have to. Most of the time, I will green that bitch. But as soon as I get, but I'm glad they made it skill gap. Like, dude, if you're not timing that bitch correctly, and like, I get if you hit the first white. But you should not hit the next two or three whites. No, four. It's like four to five whites in a row. That should not happen. Last Maybe once or twice. Clip right there. Now we're going to move into Laker fan. But once again, he's clarifying that you have to know your shot on 2K23. And let's get into Laker fans' first clips. These behind the backs, this is like Jordan's animation for the behind the mm -hmm. back. It's very good as well, I must mention. And as you can see, it's not burning adrenaline on either of those. It's not. I think, it, I think personally, the adrenaline boost and what kills them is you like go side to side movement a whole lot more. Mm. This movement doesn't seem to burn the adrenaline boost quite as much. All right, so this one's going to be a little bit questionable and we're going to have to speculate a little bit on what we're seeing. So when he came up the court, as Mike Wing already said, you're not going to lose those adrenaline boosts, but he did an explosive move past half court and was still able to not use his adrenaline boost. So maybe Mike Wing's talking about like once you finally get up the court, it doesn't use it, or there's actually going to be some explosive moves that do not drain your adrenaline boost. So we'll have to see more like when the game comes out, like the builder and all that stuff that's gonna come out tomorrow, cause there's gonna be oh, yeah. more gameplay tomorrow with the builders, you know, them testing like actual builds in the my career type thing. Yeah. But right now we don't really know. Let's get into the next one. We got three bars right here. And as soon as I go for the steal on the bump right here, you can see it goes away. So, definitely something to keep in mind. Um, if you're someone who spams passing lanes, you're done. <laughs> you're done for. Because you're going to see it later in this footage. I was testing that a little bit on the inbound. I was just... Bro, all these creators that are laughing during these gameplays, Uncle Demi, Laker fan, yeah, man, they're all laughing. It's great. Like, their excitement for the game and things that are, like, usually not something that should be in the game being out... Is amazing. Now, you mm -hmm. can't just sit there in the corner and just spam that steal button so that they can never pass it into the corner. Now, you actually have to time it correctly. Bang! Because I. I <laughs> yes! 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 Baby! Yes! Yes! I time. I don't fucking spam for that shit. I time my shit too. And I'm glad this year I'm gonna get that shit. Cause I could, I'll be timing my shit. Thank you. Thank you. You're not going to be able to just sit there and just spam it over and over Thank and you. never be able to pass to your teammate. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's get into the next one. Dunk meter flashing right here. I mean, that's a good. Yo, I'm scared for that. I'm kind of scared. Scared about that. Let me tell you why. That shit's way easier. Like I'm glad it made it easy. Cause sometimes you miss time that bitch with the fucking other shit. That's why I use fucking square so that shit doesn't show up. But that shit's a lot easier to time. Yeah, 10 times easier to time like that. I like that, how they made it a little bit easier to time. The timing, I'm not gonna lie. But again, Robert Parrish, he is just shutting stuff down at the rim. <laughs> like, it's just an elite rim protector, and it's just a tough time to deal with. But anyway, 
So this dude gets the ball. So as we all know from the news that we've heard, now keep in mind, slashers have been really OP. I'm not even going to be the first one to say that. You guys see that, watch my gameplay. Slashers have been great. If you know how to slash, they're good almost every single year. But exactly. from the news that we've heard, we were like, wow, slashers are going to be so broken. And they're probably still going to be very good, which they should. You know, slashers should have their own part in the game, just like a little Steph Curry build. You know what I'm saying? Every build should have their own part in the game. But what I'm saying is we have now seen that once you go up against a rim protector, it's not necessarily going to be the same thing. So we'll see when the mm, gameplay actually comes. That's why I like that. They're bringing more defense back. I thought about making the center. I'm not going to hold you. Being the big body playing defense, shooting. That's, that's what I thought of. Thought about doing, you know what I'm saying? You know. Because I like being a guard too. Dribbling and shit. But I don't know how I feel about that. I'm still thinking about what what role I want to play, but I might just stick with guard. Comes out, but right now, it's looking so balanced. Like, if you're a rim protector and you made that build to stuff people at the rim, it's going to be a lot harder for them to just dunk on you all day. Basically, what I noticed, man, any explosive movement you do is going to take an adrenaline meter. So you see every explosive behind the back that I do, I lose it. And look at how I move once I lose those adrenaline meters. You are slow as a snail. Now I'm blinking and I have no adrenaline meter. You're useless. So now we're on to Joe Noah's part. Thanks. And as you can see, this is why people were freaking out. Of course, they might still have a lot of reason to do that even after seeing the first clips that we just watched. But I really don't think it's going to be that bad. First of all, we do not have our actual builds created. We've seen exactly. that standing still dribbling is going to be great. And we've also seen that if you use those boosts wisely from Yadman, it's probably not going to be as bad as people have made it out to be. So we'll have to yeah. see once we really get those builds. And that information is literally coming to... Right, like I was saying earlier in the video, um, standing still dribbling might be the, like the way of dribbling. Then speed boost fast as fuck off that shit. Then do one more explosive move while you still got some of the adrenaline left. One more move, bam, you scored. So dribble for a little bit, stand still. That bitch barely take your stamina. Okay. Then explode. Explode. Go score. One of those things. I'm, I'm already thinking. Think, use that shit wisely, test out these I got to stand still. And dribble. all that type of stuff. And then we'll go from there. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, guys, make sure you have on notifications, by the way, and subscribe. Because I'm literally combining everything tomorrow, just like I did today. But tomorrow's is going to be way more important of course like oh, yeah. i said i do advise you to go watch every single other creator as well these guys were invited out to the community day for a reason you know some of them were next makers they're allowed to post this stuff early go watch them as well and let's roll the next clip check this out obviously it is michael jordan take that into consideration he's one of the best drivers of the ball we've ever seen but look at this animation i just manhandle this dude damn roll the shoulder into him move him out of the way <laughs> I want y'all to give me your opinions on that right there in the comments. I'm kind of scared because, see, that wasn't a center, okay? So, if center, you can't, he, he probably ain't going to do it as a center. But if you're going against guard and guard, and then one of them's a slasher, and that motherfucker does that, that's chicken every time. Wait, I'm kind of scared for it at the same time. That's how it should be, honestly. But it should take more skill than that. That's kind of scared me a little bit. In a way, he's me mug his ass out the way. That's kind of questionable. I'm not going to lie comment section down below i feel like mj of course is mj he had a full head of steam and that player probably didn't have a lot of strength i do want to see what it looks like when you go up against a player that that's what they fucking talk about strength on every build you have to have something strength fucking matters this year like on the guard you're not gonna have that shit up but like for some of y'all fucking spot up shooters and pick and pop and Bills that can fucking shoot in your center and shit, and y'all don't have like barely any strength because it doesn't matter. Oh my nigga, oh my nigga, it does. And they said speed doesn't matter that much either. Oh my nigga, you better, bro. Even on the guard, bro. If I make my six five guard like I wanted to, I'm putting some damn strength on him, bro. Because if I can drive him, push it out the way a little bit, and fillet that bitch. It's amazing. Does have a good amount of strength, but I don't think it's going to be the same result. And that's basketball. If you make a five eleven guard, six foot one, you don't have a lot of strength. You are going to get bullied. I mean, you're you're going to get bullied. It's going to be bad. Now we're seeing that the strength is actually going to matter. Let's get into the next one. A couple clips here. First thing you're going to notice is the duck meter is not that little circle thing that we had last year on Next Gen. It is, actually looks like a shot meter, which, like I said, makes it a lot easier to time. So Hell yeah. I like the fact how it looks because 
it doesn't... I feel like the other meter was, like, in the way of the dunk. You didn't even really get to see the animation. Now I feel like this meter, it's off to the side. It's not taking away from the actual contact dunk animation. Easier to time is pretty wild. Like, I've already told you guys, I think on 22 Next Gen, it was easy already. I mean, the only thing that was difficult about it was that you're actually delayed, like, you know, taking a jump shot. So the meter isn't exactly how it is. Like, in my career, yeah. you'll see the difference between that and then doing it in the park. But I don't know. Easier... It's pretty wild. Let's get into the next one. Catering and favoring slashers. So let me just show you all some of these clips I was getting. Again, it's with Michael Jordan against the computer, so take it with a grain of salt. But some of these layups, man, and a lot of people were talking about it was like saying like layups going like crazy. Like some of these layup animations and some of these shots I'm hitting like with no stamina, low stamina. I'm going up against like Robert Parrish. Like he's a Damn. Big center nah, that's terrible. That's... Okay, but y'all got to take it like this, bro park and everything else like you know how you play play now and that's just you put that shit on hall of fame nigga that shit's still not on hall of fame you still make stupid shit like even a hall of fame or certain shit like play now is definitely easier in terms of making shit bro definitely easy play now my team and shit like that that's definitely easier difficulty's not that fucking like it's not like that you will make some dumb shit that's probably why it's like this right now because they probably have some shit where, like, you play play now, you don't get to change the city if it's on pro or wookie. So, him making it as fucking wild. Or it might be on it. I don't know. But, like I said, I don't play play now. So, that's why I, just, I don't care. I don't know, man. Some of these layups, I feel like, shouldn't be going. Look, that shit order. is wild. That no, look shit. at that sh know, Yeah, that, that shit's not wild. Going in my, I, I know it's Michael Jordan. Uh, I mean, that stand, shit's no crazy. Stamina, like, fading layup floater. I, I'm about to get me a 99 crazy. stamina. Fuck fucking you. Yes. <laughs> Basically, my career with Michael Jordan. Hell yeah. The Literally, like he said, take it with a grain of salt. You're in the Jordan Challenge, and of course, there's probably a difficulty, but I would say most people were playing on a lower difficulty just to, like, figure yeah. it out and stuff like that. Yeah, but what exactly. I'm saying is, it's not probably going to be that bad. Of course, if you don't have paint defense, it really might be that bad. But we will see how the builds even out when the game comes out. Guys, I'll probably be uploading again today because we have a lot of more information coming out right now as we speak but drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new and tomorrow is gonna be huge you're gonna yes, want sir. to be here hit that notification button if you didn't watch the last make sure boys subscribe like and comment man shout out the bachelor for showing this amazing video and yeah man get my opinions on that shit it's gonna be a good game better defense y'all niggas who shoot whites white made and 50 out of there with that stupid shit what are you talking about and let me see what else uh, what else we gonna do? Yeah, we definitely gonna do another reaction tomorrow to the uh, my builder. We, hey y'all, we on the way to 400 subscribers too. Make sure our boy subscribe and like to that. Yeah, man, it's, the video is just relaxed, it's just stopping shit, looking at the shit, and this looks pretty good, you know. And they're putting Park on a superstar now, and then they're putting uh. Fucking stage or some shit. I think stage and some shit is on Hall of Fame. Because that shit's more competent and that shit should not be easier than park. I'm just saying. And difficulty wise, because niggas do be making some wild shit in the stage. I'm not going to hold you. Alright, subscribe, like, comment, share, and already ready NBA 2K23 gameplay by my boy Badge Plug W Mans right here. We got this thing, man. Peace.